Bob Woodward, you've covered nine presidents, from Richard Nixon to Donald Trump. Why did you avoid rendering such a judgment that, that the president is the wrong man for the job for the eight previous presidents that you covered? It is a conclusion based on evidence, which it, to me was overwhelming. And uh, I did not want to join the ranks of the Senate Republicans who know that Trump is the wrong man for the job, but won't say it publicly. So why, why did you refrain from writing that sentence, Richard Nixon is the wrong man for the job, or Bill Clinton is the wrong man for the job, or George W. Bush is the wrong man for the job, even though your reporting led many people to believe that? In the case of the Trump book, as you know, I was able to do what turned out 19 interviews right. with him, nine hours, and uh, over a 10-month period, he would call me, in fact, I'm going to get out the tape recorder I had to okay. carry around in my pocket. Do you mind if I record our conversation Go here? Go for it. Was it just that you'd spent more time with Trump so you felt more qualified to make that judgment? Is that why? The evidence is overwhelming out of right. his own mouth. I plunked this down on the Resolute desk and said, it's all on the record. And I asked him, what's the job of the president? And he said, the job is to protect the people. He failed to protect the people. And he knew the threat of this virus much earlier, 200,000 people the countrymen he leads have died, and he could have taken remedial action. He could have protected the country. March 19th, on tape, he admits to you that he is deliberately downplaying the virus and that he's doing that so he doesn't create panic. When he said that to you, was there not a part of you that thought this might be vital information to share especially for the people who really listened to him, would that not have been something that could have helped save lives? The world and everyone knew that it was airborne, that people who did not have symptoms could spread it. So what am I going to tell them at that point? The president is playing it down. We knew he was playing it down. Have you been to his rallies? Have you talked to some of his voters? I, I've watched them. Yeah. I've watched, I have not attended. Well, when you go, I mean, these people, they really hang off his every word and they take their advice from him. And I guess what I'm trying to say is they probably weren't realising that he was doing this downplaying deliberately, that well, he was you deliberately... You say they're listening to him. What is he saying? That it's, that, that it's no worse than the flu, that it's going to disappear, all of these What's things. What's that? Downplaying. downplaying. No, but that's my point. If they knew that he actually thought it was really deadly and that he was deliberately doing that as a tactic, might they not have thought, oh, boy, I better wear a mask, I better socially distance. Yeah, but the, he calls me fake media like he calls you right. fake media. So you media. think they just would have dismissed it? No, I'm, anyway. I'm, I'm just... I, yeah. I think I have a public responsibility as a journalist. If I have a solid warning that's going to save one life, sure, I will do it. In some parts of the book, it, it seemed like you were almost stepping out of your normal journalistic role and almost becoming an informal advisor to the president. There was this amazing scene. You were discussing the Ukraine impeachment scandal with Trump and you said, quote, I'm telling you from too many decades of experience in cases like this, if you apologised, it would go away. And when Trump disagreed with you, you suggested he take a walk with his daughter Ivanka to see if she agreed with you that, quote, an apology carefully phrased might end this. Did you have any qualms as a reporter about telling the president how he might get out of this scandal? Do you remember the context of that? Yeah. You're it was talking a... about Nixon, and I'm saying yeah. to Trump... It would have gone if away. If Richard Nixon had come out right. months yeah, even yeah. after the Watergate burglary and say, I'm the guy in charge, it's my responsibility, uh, it would have gone away because one of the characteristics uh, in this country is people are forgiving if you kind of come out and say, right. I screwed up. This right is in, in the middle of his impeachment trial. Right. I was able to conduct the interrogation of him that the House and the Senate did not. And I, if we played the 
tape of it. I'm shouting at him. He's shouting Seriously, back. Seriously, you shout.